Routes are also referred to as endpoints in backend engineering. They refer to specific URLs or uniform resource locators within a web application that a client, typically a front-end application like a mobile app, can send HTTP requests to in order to interact with the backend services. Each route is defined in the backend where the actions to be performed are determined using code. When a client makes an HTTP request to a specific route or endpoint, the backend server processes the requests, performs the necessary operations, and sends back an HTTP response containing the requested data or indicating the success or failure of the operation. So in Dartfrog, um, each route or endpoint is associated with a Dart file. Uh, in the roots directory and defined based on its file name and where the file is named index.dat as our, as you can see for our first file that we have here the root or endpoint will correspond to our forward slash endpoint i'll show you how that will work so if we look at the our index.dat already comes with a pre-existing code so we can look through it so a root consists of an on request function also called a root handler so it takes a parameter of type request context what a request context is it's an object that represents request specific context or information about it's just information about the http request that's coming in from http method headers query parameters to body and this is not um predefined it's not defined only in that language you'll find it in other languages like java or python so it's something it's a general knowledge per se so in this on request function it's supposed to return um http response with us in this case with a string the body will contain a string or to return a string body but also we'll see a scenario where we are going to return a json encoded body so now that we have that, we want to create uh, two more routes. Let the main routes that will be that represent uh, two main features in our app. So our task list app will con consist of lists, um, different task lists, and in each list we have items for those specific lists. So we just want to create two routes that will represent uh, lists and the ones that would represent items of those lists so to create a route we just head over to a new terminal and inside here uh, we're in let's navigate to our project inside here all i have to do is call the command that frog new root and pass define we're going to put it in each of the the logic of these two routes in their own folders so we'll define one as lists and define the name of the file so here you can also you don't have to use index.dat what when you have index.dat what means when you're running the call request our endpoint will end at lists because by default when you do that it will be looking for a file called index.dat so we can also define um, our files with other names like uh, um, new but we will we'll get to see that there's not all files will be index.dat but in this case we'll just call it index and then we press enter so it will compile and generate our root and as you can see we now have our list folder and it will have our index.dat for this specific root now let's create for the items so it will be dat frog new root um, items index it will process the same thing and we'll have our root created so let's just change the text here this is a new root for lists functionality we're just changing the task text so that we can see it when we run it and for the the index dot in the items we'll just say for items functionality 
so we have changed the text so let's head over to our terminal link again and run the command dot frog dev sorry uh, let's just this is now the scenario where we can specify another port when our existing port is being used so let's just say dot frog um, that frog dev 8081 or better yet let's just I just found where the our 8080 is actually running which is here so we can just close this and go back to this terminal that's already running our 8080 so let's try and go to our terminal and run a cal request let's run a cal request cal http 8080 stroke lists so that's an endpoint when you want to reach to the logic for the list uh, root as you can see this is a new root for lists functionality and if we do a cal request to the items endpoint sorry we'll get a, a string um, body that says this is a new route for items functionality so this is just a basic way of showing you how we'll be uh, performing our sending our requests and how we're going to reach our two main routes uh, but there's a lot of logic that we'll implement as we go on um, and with that, uh, that's the basic understanding of roots. We'll be going back and forth on our roots and implementing as we get to implement a um, majority of the concepts that we are supposed to implement in this course. So let's proceed to the next one.